greed enslaves us greetings to you in the precious name of our lord jesus christ welcome to the 37th day of a journey from wilderness to calvary my brothers and sisters yesterday we have reflected upon the crookedness of judas and weakness of peter and today we are going to reflect about the greedy character of judas iscariot how greediness enslaved judas iscariot how he was engripped into this greediness and thus he has sinned sin after sin and handed over jesus to the chief priest well my dear brothers and sisters the reflection for our, for today for our, the reflection for today is the passage that we have taken from gospel of matthew chapter 26 verses 14 to 16 then one of the 12 the one called judas iscariot went to the chief priest and asked what are you willing to give me if i hand him over to you so they counted out for him 30 silver coins from then on judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus when we reflect in depth about this little passage what made judas to sell jesus there are two reasons the first reason is that judas though he moved with jesus has witnessed every miracle even the greatest miracle of raising lazarus from death yet he didn't believe in jesus there's so many times in our lives too we go to church we pray we do so many things and yet we may end up without belief in jesus and the second reason why judas betrayed jesus or he he has a uh, soul jesus is for the greed of money many brothers and sisters the greed enslaves all of us notice judas even the man, the love for money made judas not to even anoint the feet of jesus in the gospel of uh, john chapter 12 we hear a beautiful incident about where jesus goes to the house of martha and mary and mary was anointing the feet of jesus with the perfume judas says you know with a wicked mind with a wrong intention he says the money the amount of perfume that you are using that money can be used for the poor no doubt god has given jesus has given him an important post of handling money to spend money my brothers and sisters i am sure jesus would have seen some good qualities great qualities in him and chosen him as a disciple maybe this judas did not have any intention of stealing money when jesus chose him in the initial stages when he was uh, holding the money and spending the money but why and how this man has become so greedy you know money in grips us this way the love for money you are seeing money one day after day and once you see the money the idea of security comes into your mind the idea of selfishness comes to your mind and that's what happened even to judas iscariot remember the words of jesus who says it is very hard for a rich man to enter into the gate of heaven then you know it is easy for the camel to pass through an i of a needle my dear brothers and sisters it's true even in the case of judas maybe judas was very poor in the beginning and slowly he is picking up and he is seeing money constantly and slowly he is engripped into that and that's why we have in the letter to james chapter 4 verses 1 we hear these words those conflicts and disputes among you where do they come from do they not come from your own cravings in other words desires that are at war within you 
Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, the desire for money, the craving for money definitely engrips us. And for which Judas Iscariot sold himself just for 30 pieces of silver. My brothers and sisters, this 30 pieces of silver was not a huge money. It was just a five days wages. No doubt, the chief priest would have definitely arrested Jesus after a few days. But his involvement made the action to be taken little quicker or the action was little preponed. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the love for money is sinful, says 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 10. Many of us follow Christ and we claim to follow Christ with wrong intentions, wrong notions, like Judas, who has followed Jesus and later slowly this has led him to have a greed for many money. In the initial stages, we may not have this intention, but as days go by, when money flows into the ministry, we may lose ourselves in this greed. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, Judas, he was uh, enslaved, enslaved because of this greediness. He has lost himself. He sold his body. He sold his purpose. He sold his everything. No doubt, Judas had everything. He had good food, clothing, housing, purpose, meaningful, everything. But this little greed made him to lose himself by selling Christ. Where you and I stand, do we sell Christ for our greediness? Do we sell Christ because of our selfish motives? Just reflect during this Holy Week. If you like this reflection, kindly like, share and do not forget to contribute. God bless you and have a wonderful day.